Hey, audience, and today it's all about fettuccine. Now, in Italian, fettuccine means little ribbon. So we're here today with Jack to see which brand deserves a blue ribbon. All right, <laughs> so dig in. These have been cooked in salted water and tossed with neutral flavored canola oil. Okay. So no olive oil, no butter. Nothing meant, sexy here. Nothing, we, the oil is there just basically to keep them from clumping together into one mass. This is the way the studio audience tasted them. We did do an additional tasting with the expert panel with butter and cheese. Sorry. I missed that one. Yeah, no butter, no cheese here today. <laughs> Big difference that you can first see is thickness and width. Mm -hmm. Some of them are a little skinnier, some of them are a little thinner. We actually found that the wider ones had a sort of nicer chew, ended up holding on to sauce a little better. So it's a very slight difference. I mean, I would say all of these are fine pastas. Mm -hmm. One of them is made with egg, the rest are just made with semolina flour. Big difference besides the width of them was that addition of egg. You really can taste whether or not it has egg in it or not. So I'm really putting a little bit of pressure on you yes, here. Yes, you are. Otherwise, I would say these are fairly similar in the sense that you're gonna get probably more variation in the cooking than in the shopping. The other thing here we were really interested in is imported versus domestic. Even a lot of the Italian companies that we think of as Italian companies now make the pasta with American wheat in America. One of these is actually an Italian brand made in Italy. Cost about twice as much. Mm. The other two are, one's an American company, one's an Italian company, but they're both made here with American wheat and American factories. But you know, as someone who loves all things Italian, mm -hmm. I was rooting a little bit for the Italian brand. The other home team. <laughs> the other home team. <laughs> so anything that you're noticing here, I mean, it's, they're very mm -hmm. plain. They're fettuccine. This one's my favorite. Okay. I think it's very springy. I think it's very clean. It's light flavored. This one is a little bit thick. It's, I mean, none of them are bad, believe you me. I would not toss any of these off my dinner table. <laughs> this one I think has egg in it. This one was between these two. Since you told me they're egg, now I'm looking for egg. I mean, the egg isn't super pronounced because it's a very mild flavor, mm -hmm. but in a tasting where there are not a lot of differences, I mean, sure. there's, there's really only one ingredient in some of these. Mm -hmm. It is perhaps a differentiator. I actually think the texture is a bigger deal because remember, whatever subtle egg thing mm -hmm. may be here is gonna be obliterated by whatever you toss it with. I mean, That's assuming true. that you don't eat it with canola oil, like I'm serving it to you right. now, if you put olive oil on it. I would hope it, you wouldn't. No, I, I would <laughs> at least give you olive oil, maybe even some cream and butter. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I think this one is my favorite. I like the texture of this one, and this is my least favorite. All right, so let's start with what you... Want to go with the yeah, Let's first? start with what you like. Let's start on my a winner. positive note. Oh, that's good. Um, so it is the studio audience, the Yay! expert table. Everybody agrees this is Garofalo Fettucci, not a fettuccine. It's a variation on that. This is the imported one. It, it is more expensive, but we felt like it had the best texture. Okay, and this was my next favorite? This is a fine choice. This is Ronzoni. Mm -hmm. It's made here by a company called New World. They make Prince, San Giorgio. They're different regional brands. They're all exactly the mm -hmm. same. We thought this one was the thinnest and narrowest, so we didn't really love it quite so much when it came to putting it with sauces, but it's fine. Right. And this is the most popular brand in Italy, oh. Barilla. It's made here in the US. Mm -hmm. It's such a big company that they've decided rather than importing the pasta, which is why the winner is so much more expensive, mm -hmm. it's cheaper since they're using wheat grown in the United States or Canada to just make it here for the gotcha. US market. So even though this is a famous Italian company, it's made in the United States. And it was fine choice. It was in the middle of the pack. Well, you can't go wrong with most supermarket brands. That's the good news. But if you want our winner, you're gonna go with Garofolo Vettucci. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>